Good day everybody, my name is Dale and welcome to Yep, it's Dale. Well, today, let me guess, you came here to see a tutorial which shows you how to do digital art without a drawing teller. Well, you came to the right place and this is no clickbait, you're at the right place. So before I start, I need you to press the like button, smash that subscribe button so I can make more videos for the future and if you have any questions about some things you can leave it in the comments below and so we can end up taking it over from there but yeah let's get into it so now today before I end up uh, starting with the tutorial I have to establish the type of software I'm using so today I'll be using Clip Studio well, not today, every day I'll be using Clip Studio because Clip Studio I found it as the best and this is probably the only software that I know that can do digital art the way I do it without the drawing tablet so basically there are other softwares that you can play around with it's Toon Boom, uh, Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop probably uh, just tell me if you want me to make a, a tutorial of that below in the comments but today is about clip studio so i'll take with clip studio my bad so basically before we start i just want to tell you this is probably gonna take like four steps or three steps i'm not sure but yeah let, let's get into it so now as you can see this is the final picture if you want something like this keep on watching so now let me just turn off this so now when you open clip studio for the very first time you see an empty page so basically I'm using a B4 or an empty canvas or something but I'm using a B4 so basically when you uh, are starting off you probably be using A4 doesn't matter A4 these are the brushes you should stick with 3, 2, 1 3 is for the main detail uh, 2 is for the minor detail and 1 is for the small small detail so keep that in mind you should just freestyle all the way I'm not going to tell you how to use it basically so I want you to do the I want you to develop your own style of doing digital art but now since we are starting let me show you a good example of vector layer yes that's our first step so vector layer is the line art of the whole illustration but before we do that the main key of doing this is always have a drawing not a digital drawing an actual drawing on paper this will help you very well so draw your drawing on paper or if you have already if you already have a drawing on paper scan it in and or take a picture and import it into clip studio which will help you very well so instead of me scanning it in into our, um, our clip studio i decided to take a picture to show you both ways is possible so i'm writing on my layer there this is our picture here. So basically I drew this on a, on an A3 paper or something but it doesn't matter really. So I drew this, took a picture, sent it to my PC and imported it to Clip Studio. So now you need this part for the whole thing because this is going to be your guideline, more like your sketch layer in a way or your draft layer. So basically this is the most important part. So now once we're done with here, we end up opening vector layer. It's if you're using Clip Studio, you, if you're interested, just go download Clip Studio and then you can start off here. It is a 30 day free trial, uh, 30 day free trial of all uh, types of brushes, everything, all the. What can I say, really? It, uh, it's unlimited, to be honest. All the options are available for you. If you sign up to, with a Clip Studio account, then you can end up using different types of brushes. You can save all the stuff. So yeah, did it did free trial. Try it out, it's good. Let's get back to the topic. If you're using Clip Studio, right on top here, on the layer part, on this, right on top, there's a, a page, which is raster layer. Don't click that. And then there's vector layer. You click vector layer, it opens. If it is for line arts or not. So now, go on the left side of the interface of the screen. You see a huge column there where it shows you different types of options. This small part with the icons, you scroll down all the way to uh, underneath bucket and gradient, you'll find uh, line. You find line here. 
So I want to click here, it gives you this option over here, then you select curve tool. Well, if you're some guy who's not used to doing one curve at the time, you can use the continuous curve tool, but I'm not a big fan of that. So use the curve tool. Now, this is the most important part for you guys. These are the three types of brush sizes you should use. Three, two, one. If you're using an A4, three, two, one. If you're using a B4, six, four, two. There are three, it's big, it's for the main, uh, for the main detail. Okay, two is for the minor detail and one is for the smallest detail on the picture. So you stick on that, since I'm using a, a, a B4, same thing applies to six, four, two. So now let's go, let's get into the drawing. Zoom in. Okay, let me start with the finger part. Zoom in. So what you do here first, as you can see, once you, you go here, select, Change it to curve tool. Now you click, go across. It looks like a straight line, right? But if you curve it into where you want it to be, bam, it already took up the knuckle. It shows you the knuckle. So now if you continue doing it, it will be good. But now, as you can see, it's not connected. Oh yeah, and check out the vector connect box here and tick it. Usually it's ticked off. So when you turn on vector magnet, it will connect all the lines of the illustration so it doesn't leave gaps for you when you end up coloring so now you select end up coming and then you end up doing this well something's up with the, with the magnet Let's see what number are you 100, 100. To set, then let's see. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. And when you do this, don't be afraid to take huge leaps or fades because I've seen people in the start they end up doing this at the first time, doing this, then making small steps all the way, which is very, very, very time consuming. So don't be afraid to take long 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 leaps of faith it will save more time and all so now as you can see it's forming the arm and all so now after taking this time this uh, uh, doing this method all over the picture you end up getting this a nice smooth looking vector there well let's say just to be sure if your lines and not connected just go all the way to the last icon on the bottom select it then go to um connect vector line and then it to show you some sort of brush then you do this then it collects do it all over the whole picture then it will connect every single part of the picture so it doesn't leave gaps so paint can dig out and stuff which is good so now once you get your your whole illustration line art then we can come into coloring so step number two so now once you go into coloring the main keys of coloring is that when you open a rest layer make sure it's underneath the vector layer why let me show you an example over here as you can see, I colored my vector layer, uh, my character's clothing, black. Now, if we check here, you can still see the outline, but now let's see if I take that and put it over my vector layer, you can't see it anymore, it's a problem. So basically, to end up over painting on top of the lines. So you may make sure your raster layers or your color layer is right underneath your vector layer. So now, when you color in before coloring, this is step also number three. You should make sure that you have the color palette. Like already, you should know what your colors of your character look like. For example, my character's colors is skin color brown, clothing black, red, and his his edge of his sword is uh, is gold. So basically, these are the main colors I'm using for the whole illustration. But if you're doing a, re a picture reference of another anime character or a character, you just open a new or import 
a picture and then just eye drop it and take the color from it. But besides that, once you do that, go to I start coloring using that. So I color my black layer, and then my skin layer and uh, uh, red layer, and then I turn on my shadow. So when you do your shadows, I'm not gonna explain much on this, but what I do, I usually for basics. I usually when when I select my skin color. I end up going to the color palette right here. So, for example, let me select skin color. I selected it. I go all the way here. Say the color wheel. You go down here. Then you just go all the way at the back. Then you got your shadow. So now you just end up uh, taking, going back to your curve tool. Going back to your curve tool. And then you make wait wait a minute and then you end up making a line basically your darker shadow part so now that's how i ended up doing my shadows of all over the place so you just select color darker version you make shadows so this is very uh this is what makes your uh your picture basically so now from flat to shadow which gives a depth then you go to eyes you make white layer always make a white layer because if you don't make a white layer let me show you what happens let me turn off my white layer uh, turn off paper as you can see through the eyes in the back the, if you save it as a png the white won't be so white anymore as you can see you will see the small blocks and stuff in which is gonna cause you a lot of problems so always make a white layer and color in white so now from there let me turn on the from there you can end up freestyling all the way so basically this is a coloring use bucket you don't have to use a brush select bucket always turn off if you have a color close to each other turn off the layer and then do it on the another layer and then color there and then you turn on and then it will be dope so this is what I can teach you for now because I just wanted to show you as, as you can see what I did here with the background it's not part of the, the tutorial background is not part of the tutorial I should have to do vector line coloring understand light I'm not gonna teach you how to understand light because I wanted to do another tutorial for that which is gonna take a lot of time as I can see and as you can see these glowing parts and stuff this is not the way i used to do this is another guy's tutorial i followed so basically i'm gonna show you another guy's method who's called white manga so i learned this method from him so i'm just gonna end up this i'm gonna save that for another tutorial of i think it's gonna be called as you can see how to even switch instead of recoloring everything into dark mode i'll show you how to do that on white manga's tutorial my tutorial named after white manga not white manga tutorial but besides i'll show you on all of it that i think our next video if you like and subscribe if you, if you like forget a lot of likes or subscribes or comments uh, of me making the next video of to make more detail into the picture i'll do it for you with a different i'll be using another youtuber's method showing you uh, how helpful it is so you can watch we shows you it doesn't matter if you watch any types of tutorial of a guy with a drawing tablet you can still apply it towards your normal illustration so if you as you can see this became a nice picture as you can see it's lighting so i will teach you lighting in the next video and stuff but if you like this video okay wait i think that's the end of our video yeah so if you like this video please leave a like subscribe and comment yes comment and i'll leave a link to a guy that i learned i learned from his whole thing basically from the basic guy which no one knows on youtube so i'm gonna give him the spotlight today so basically i'll put a link of his youtube video below then you can see him explain it even further than what i did then yeah from there on you can do your own illustrations you become a, a digital artist without a drawing tablet so if you make your own illustrations please tag me please tag me 
on Instagram. Uh, the link will be on the, uh, uh, below on the screen to display right now on the screen somewhere here. So you take me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter of your picture that you did without with a without a drain tablet. Then on our next video, maybe I'll display a few artworks. Then I'll show you the mistakes or what you did great about it. Then yeah, then we can take it over there. So uh, this is uh, Yep It's Del and I'm out. <laughs> Ooh. Do, 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 do.